Welcome back to Vingroth's War Mage Adventures in More Oblivion. It's a little like an ash storm has kicked up. <laughs> so there's gonna be a lot of whooshing. Um, but yeah, um, I hope, hope you've all had a, a great, um, you know, New Year's Day and New Year's Eve. I did. So yeah, um, now we're back. Um, back in Vardenfell. Let's see, last time, oh gosh, we, um, I mean, we got Skull Crusher, like, I'm not sure how long ago it happened, but we got it. And, uh, enchanted it with Absorb Magicka, so now we can finally start doing, you know, more wizard-type stuff and not completely be mana screwed. Oh, hey, Jadis. Oh, yeah, thanks, I'll do the mic thing right now. Just, oh, no more wishing sounds. But, yeah, so we got Skull Crusher, I'm not sure how long ago, but... Yeah, it's good that we have it, um, but we can, I'm starting to get like a little bit more confidence that we can take on some more things. Um, we took on, um, what's this place nearby? Uh, Asu or Asu? Um, which you get the Staff of Magnus from, and at least in more Oblivion, the Staff of Magnus is like a guaranteed, you know, kill plus like taking the other guy's health entirely. So that's really nice. But yeah, uh, last time what we tried to do is uh, we, we just did a little bit of exploring. Where um, our main goal is to try to get our Telvanni stronghold. Uh, but in order to do that, we need to have like a magic skill above level 70. I was mistaken before thinking that was any skill above level 70. It might be, I don't know. But after looking at like the house's favored skills, they all seem to be magic oriented. So probably me hitting like armor 70 isn't gonna help the situation. So we're just gonna have to use magic more often, which is fine because now we have the means to do so. So yeah, uh, last time we actually went to this place all the way up here. Um, not even gonna try to pronounce that, but it's uh, the shrine where Mayron's Dagon is. And yeah, we um, we got the the quest to go and get Mayron's dagger. It's nice. Yeah, the Staff of Magnus is awesome. I can't quite remember... Cats are trying to get in my door. Uh, I can't quite remember um, what it's actual... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can't remember what it did more when... It was, I think it was something like... It did some sort of regeneration. Like, you cast it on yourself, and it would give you, like, two points of regeneration for 60 seconds or something like that. And something else magical, like maybe absorb spell or something, but I'm not entirely sure. Also off camera, I did a little bit of selling of some items. So you'll see, Join the um, fighters guild. Nuska actually has a new bow. I did a little bit of shopping and found, um, this is a mithril bow, but what I did was I enchanted it with weakness to magic, because that's going to be pretty sweet to, you know, have a whole bunch of dudes that you know, are going to be hit with this weakness from uh, Nuska, and then be able to cast a spell will be really nice. And ornate Quicksilver Arrows, which I just found, so... Be able to do some nice stuff with that. Nice combo. Alright. I have to remember, it's weird, when I like switch from going from a uh, normal modded Oblivion to more Oblivion, I have to remember things like I have the shenanigans dagger or the steel blade of heaven which gives me like constant effect levitation. There's weird weird little crossover things I have to remember. Uh, what is it? Whoa! Whoa! What was that? Oh, it's a frost tree. Ooh, that reflected back to it. Now what's cool is because I'm born under the breath, it doesn't actually like matter too much. Oh hey Kai Mighty, how's it going? I'm doing well, how was your New Year's? Oh gosh. Muska's unconscious. Now what's cool is because I'm born under the uh, because I, I am a breath, I resist magic a lot better. Ooh. This guy is, is tough. There we go. Like, I barely took any damage at all from that. There you go. Glad 
she heals on her own. That's nice. Oh, could have been better. Yeah, yeah, mine do use it. Yeah, I pretty much, yeah, I, I stayed at home too. I didn't do anything beside you. Yeah. Yes, this is good old Skull Crusher. We're, uh, we're playing more Oblivion right now. So it's Morrowind recreated in the Oblivion's engine. So yep, this is good old Skull Crusher. Um, not the same stats though, unfortunately. Um, it used to have Burden. Um, but what I did was I used a spell to disenchant it and put Absorb Magic on it, which is really helpful since... Again, I'm born under the Atronach and don't <laughs> regenerate magic in a So, that's pretty useful. Right now we're looking for the Mamrin's Razor. Man, we've traveled a long way together. I know, I'm happy to have Skull Crusher too. Oh, we found it! Nice! Let's take care of this guy. Salts. Should probably heal up. Ooh, I don't have enough mana to heal up. That's a little weird. What are we actually? Oh. Uh oh. What are those cats. Oh, you know what? There's like a scratching post, like on my doorknob, that I like just noticed before I walked in. So we might hear some knocking. I'm gonna go into first person because I think things are getting a bit laggy here. Oh my gosh, I can see why. That is an ogrim. Why won't you die? Am I supposed to be warming up? A bit more. I think I'm gonna remove that from the door, because that's gonna be a little bit creepy as I'm oh gosh! Am I supposed to be as I'm doing all this? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I'd say that's probably why we were glitching out earlier. Because giant ogres glitching through walls. Okay, I gotta take care of that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Who is it? Pumpkin, what are you doing? Pumpkin. Wait, hey, let me. You gotta say hi to everybody. This is Pumpkin. Say hello to everybody, Pumpkin. You Pumpkin, you're crazy. Look, you made the camera all fuzzy. Alright, I'm taking that thing off the doorknob. Pumpkin. No, no, follow the... Follow the... Pumpkin, why you gotta be in this way? The cat's loose! Where are you going? Oh, alright. <laughs> I guess I'll hang out here for a while. And, um, <laughs> we'll just have to deal with it. Oh. Ah. What is going on here? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh. Ooh, this place is very laggy for some reason. I blame Ogrims. <laughs> they probably made... I'm, I'm guessing that the problem is that they made... Are you gonna jump on my keyboard? 
I'm not absorbing much magicka from him. I'm just gonna take care of this guy then. Oh, he's, he's watching the stream. He's really funny. There's certain games he'll actually watch him play. I think the uh, the issue with this area, at least, is that... Wow, I got hurt a lot. Um, I think I have some potions. Is because, like, these doors aren't made for, like, giant things like ogrims to go through. And he's probably modeled after, like, a very tall ogre or something like that. Um, let's do strong potion of sorcery. Some restore magic of potions. Heal up a bit more. There we go. Awesome. That's good. I think one of the things that might happen is because I have a warhammer that um that drains the magicka from people, it might actually be a thing that um oh, dagger. Oh, I think that is it actually. Um, orcish gauntlets, steel claymore. Are orcish gauntlets as good as what I have? I don't think they would be. No, they're not. Enderil is somehow better than orcish. Yeah, he was. You know, every once in a while we've had little issues like that where we have like enemies that are kind of either stuck or something weirds going on with them. Clan fears have a difficult time too. We'll have to see if it continues being an issue. Drop some of your arrows, Nesca. But uh, I was, as I was saying, the um, it might actually be an issue that I have actually absorb too much magicka from people, and that would actually be interesting. Like, they have normal magic to give, but I'm still wasting the enchantment. Oh gosh, you actually hit me in the back. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. Oh, oh, that thing is what happened. You are hitting me in the back with arrows again, aren't you? You hit me in the back again. There we go. This guy has to work on her aim. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Ooh, a lockpick. They're actually very rare in, in more Oblivion lockpicks. It's really weird. Urns? Yeah, they just have bone meal. I think that was it, though. Common pants. Scrib jelly. I got distracted by my cat. Alright. Oh, what's this? Wither skins. Oh, take... Can I heal up? Okay. Yeah, that, that is a thing with her where she misses and hits me in the back very often. One interesting thing I've been noticing is that I have a spell, right? Casts on self. And it's 10 points for 2 seconds, and I don't think it's supposed to cost that much. I think this may be a more Oblivion strange thing where really it's actually three seconds and not two seconds. For instance, my Skull Crusher does Absorb Magicka for one second. Normally it just says Absorb Magicka on Strike and doesn't even bother with taking the seconds. So it might actually be for two seconds, which is kind of weird. I don't know if I use like a normal enchanting altar, if that like changes anything, but we'll have to see. So agreed to accept. Um, Fallen to the unworthy hands, the former owner is now dead, and it lies hidden and unused. Alas, the tomb is near Margon. He has to be find the razor and return it to him. Uh, if I can do this, I uh, prove myself worthy enough to wield the weapon myself. Oh, so I have done it. Okay, cool. I was just wondering. <laughs> yeah, well, in melee, she's a lot more effective, actually. Um, she has like a she has Kresimir, which is like a ridiculous blade to have. There's a slaughterfish. Uh, nice one-hit kill there. 
Let's get up in this place, finish up this quest. I was worried there, I saw that thing rise out of war, I'm like, what is that? Very, very laggy. You know, I've always noticed that I've had problem with rain. I don't know why, but rain really, like, is, like, taxing for some reason. I always thought it was interesting that you go into these Daedric Shrines in Morrowind and like all the followers come and kill you and then you just, you know, there's, you know, Mayrin's Dagon or like someone else and they're like, well, I didn't really care that much that you killed every one of my followers. Here, why don't you do a quest for me? I've returned to the Shrine of Mayrin's Dagon with what I believe to be once Mayrin's Razor. It does not seem to be the weapon of legend anymore. It is rusted and dull, unfit for use. You found my razor. Good. Can you feel its hunger? Can you feel its frustration? Now I will make it again what it once was, what it shall always be. Draw a line of blood across the land in the name of Meirun's Dagon. Let's see what's it all about. He was pleased uh, that I was able to recover the once great artifact uh, from its resting place. He's taken the dagger and infused it once again with his power. As I have proven myself uh, a worthy bearer of the weapon, Mayron's Dagon has given me the restored razor. Sweet. Let's check it out. It's always a question of what it actually does. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Disintegrate weapon. Oh, that damage health is very nice, too. And that's... Five is outstanding for a dagger. Like, that's, that's, that's a lot of damage for a dagger. That's crazy. Awesome. All right. No, I think we were just we were just blindly adventuring last time. I think, like we really um, oh, you know what, um, I'm trying to think back to what I did like, like my last stream I did this, and I think, I think I fixed that one quest that we did um, earlier, where um, yeah we did. Okay, cool. So. Basically what I had to do was I had to look online to see, like, we were looking for this guy's dead body and it wasn't there. Um, like, it phased through the floor or something, I don't know why. Um, but it just basically was not in the room it was supposed to be, and you're supposed to get, like, the records from it. So, basically, the way that they tell you to do it online is to actually use the console command to place at me the character and then kill him and take the item from him. So you're supposed to find him dead anyway, but there you go. Um, so we can actually continue this quest, which is nice. So I can return the excavation report to Edwinna in all the room. Awesome. Yeah, one of our, our major sort of quests for like these couple episodes is gonna be uh, raising our magic skills. Because I'm pretty sure that we have to raise our magic skills to 70, not just any skill to 70. Um, as required by, like, the Mage's Guild and uh, House Telvanni to, like, get up in rank. Which is unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? I really want that stronghold. <laughs> Plus, it is, is it, it is kind of nice to actually, you know, be a war mage as opposed to just, you know, a knight. Kind of like how I've been <laughs> recently, at least. There's Nuska. Oh, they're not. They're doing the weird thing where they want to get into the same bed, which is kind of weird. Alright, did you get the excavation report? Yes, I did. Here's the excavation report. Uh, did you get the excavation report? Do you have it with you? Yes, here it is. Oh, thank you, Outlander. This report would be helpful, I'm sure. Alright, does she have any more duties? Uh, I want you to find the Dwemer plans or blueprints. Okay. Dwemer plans or blueprints? Oh crap, what, what's it gonna be? Um, Dwemer 2? No. So wait, what was it? Oh, is that all? Dormer plans or blueprints? Maybe I just have to find them. <laughs> she doesn't really give me an explanation. 
Um, let's see. You too. It could be that that's that's all I need. Um, oh gosh, that was the wrong button. I do have to be careful of that button. Basically paralyzes people. Um, let's do some restore magic. Okay. Pumpkin, what are you doing? He's just sitting. All right. I think I might actually have one. See if I need to put anything else away. I have a lot of scrolls. Um, oh, I got the keychain mod, which is great. That takes a lot of space out of, uh, out of my inventory. I'll put Marin's razor away. Um, I'll give those to her later. Free up my inventory just a tiny bit. All right, cool. So I guess we have to find Dwemer plans. Uh, before I do that, let me just exhaust her dialogue, just in case it's like a weird thing where it's, you know, technically like... No. 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 Just to see. Excavation report. Okay. Requirements? Nope. Hmm. Rules? So it's just to get some Dwemer plans or blueprints. I thought we had found some. Farewell. How good? Hi there. Is on I thought we had, we had some at least. It's kind of weird. Um, let me just double check. I like Dwemer Scarab plans or something like that. Oh well. Uh, we can check Dagon Fell. I think that's where they were last. So check Dagon Fell because I do remember. Let's check the vacant tower first just to see. I remember there being one in here. I don't know if I sold it or not or if it was used for a different quest. I, I'm not sure. Hmm. Alright, so this is the big Sweet destruction kill skill increase. Always welcome. There's anything else down here? Got him. Small world, isn't it? Still hunting around Dagonfell? What do you need? Services? Not much here in Dagonfell. Um, Good that you want to get better. Block. That's cool. Good day. I think we found like a couple weird rings down there at one point. Well, let's check out his bedroom. I don't know why he's sitting there of all places. What what is like some of the weird things in uh, in more oblivion is in Morrowind. People just stay where they are. Oh, here's Dormer Scarab plans. Sweet. Um, normally people stay where they are, but in, uh, ornate quicksilver. In, um, in more Oblivion, they sort of move around and have a schedule like everybody else does in Oblivion. You know, like they frequent different shops or they, you know, they have their sleeping schedule. So it's weird to see how everybody moves. So hopefully that counts as a plan. Not sure if. Oh, you know what? I think I remember this quest. We may have to go to Genesis. I'm not sure though. We'll have to see, because I do remember you had to go into um into the mine 
and he had to go get some sort of plans, but I'm not sure if that was for the main quest or, or Mage's Guild, so we might have to go there. Because I'm not sure if these plans count or if it's just like an item. Dust storms never end. Alright, so where are you? Still over here. How are you? Uh, duties? Door plans or blueprints? I'm just gonna exhaust all of her dialogue just to see if, like, even if it doesn't make any sense that, uh, that we've checked everything. Oh, so I think that's Solstein that we just did. Like what he's talking about. Okay. That's the dreamers she just mentioned. Let's see. Vice. Actually, she has new rumors. Hmm. Mage Guild? Yeah, my trade. She's a mage. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Mage Guild? I think that's everything. I don't know why that Welcome stuff isn't friend. updating. We extend you our warm regards. Well, I'm not sure if this is going to be, like, the right thing to do, but I will go to Genesis and check that mine out. Um, we might have another quest we could do. Um, oh, the Vampires of Vardenfell. Um, we could at least check that out. There is a, um, there's a bookseller nearby. I know, we could just go to Joshua's Room Books. We could do that. I think that's a better option, actually. It's probably right there, anyway. I remember having to go back to that dude a lot, because he just has, like, every rare book. Might as well get that bunch quest out of the way. See if we can get some nice, you know, dungeoneering quests. Okay, so... Oh, hey, Sunu. The teleporting lady? Are you the teleporting lady? Yes, you are. Travel to, um, we need to go to Vec. Awesome. All right, and then we'll head to Joshua's Word Books. I'd be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. Which I think is fairly close by, like I just have to open the door and head down a level or something like that. Oh gosh! Wow, yeah, uh, yeah. The new Vegas last thing is is crazy. Although one thing that that did disappoint me, and um, in that last battle, is that there is a I won't spoil it, just in case. Um, there's a certain weapon that you can get, and you would be under the assumption that it would one hit kill the guy, but it does not. Speak, traveler. I think it's in this building, isn't it? Yeah, there's there's one weapon that you can get. And uh, you'd think it would one hit kill like the last boss in Fault New Vegas, but it doesn't. And it's really weird. There's even like an alternative dialogue option for if you actually use that weapon or not. It's pretty cool. I think Joshua's rare books there it is. That way? Nope, wrong way. But no, I love that game. <laughs> You're gonna save it for level 50 though? That's gonna be ridiculous. I can't remember, do things get easier or harder? Like, is it like, does it scale with everything? 
Why do you bother me? Kind of Go like Oblivion, or does it have a better system? I can't really remember. There's Joshua. Uh, do you have Empires of Ardenfell? It's a rare book. The temple does not like this book, uh, and could punish poor Joshua if they knew. A book today? Well, do you have it or not? It would be, what, the very bottom? Yeah, here it is. Oh, it's worth 666 gold. Um... Is that true, Sundu? I didn't realize that, but yeah, I think I think you're right. It's easier the higher you go. Oh, interesting. Uh, so it's at, it's set then. I got you. That's really weird, though. You would think an excellent deal. A play. You would think you'd be yeah yeah. I I forgot Goodbye. about that. That yeah, you can't continue the game after you beat it, which is really weird because it actually um. It's sort of um. Well, it highlights all the choices that you've made during your journey, which is kind of cool. Speak, but traveler. it's kind of weird. It almost incentivizes you to um, to play every DLC before you actually beat the game. Because if you just beat the game, then you can't play on. It's like the end of the story. It's kind of weird. I realize it does f it does force you to like make a save or something like before you go in, so that you can always just you know keep playing if you don't didn't want to finish the game. Hall. At some point, I do want to play that game on stream. I always um, like playing a character who's good with energy weapons and explosives, because later on in the game, when you get stuff like, um, oh gosh, what was... There was an item in... Uh, I always love, uh, what is it, the Inferno or something like that? It's that... It's that, like, flamethrower that shoots small fireballs, like napalm things. It's crazy. Uh, oh, it's called the Incinerator. That's what it's called. And, uh, there's a weapon in Fault in Vegas, and it's like an automatic grenade launcher. It's like the most insane weapon I've ever seen. I don't know what it's called, though. I also like that, that even though you're playing a, a like, you know, a more modern game, there's, there's sort of, like, named weapons, and they're better. I always find that hilarious. Like, you find, like, a gun, it just happens to be, like, you know, someone's shot off, sawed off shotgun, and it's actually, like, better than normal shotgun, which is pretty funny. Alright, so, we've completed your quest. Found a copy of Vampires of Ardenfell. Yes, yes, I have. Uh, you have the second volume yet? Yes, here it is. Uh, yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. And in good condition, too. I, uh, hope a thousand septums will cover your expenses does. How about other duties? Uh, you may be able to assist me. I would like you to speak with one of the wise women of the Ashlanders. Perhaps you could arrange a meeting. Uh, okay. Arrange a meeting. Uh, speak with the wise woman of the Ashlander tribes. From what I've heard, I doubt, um, Erebenism or Urgulashed would agree. Uh, the Zeniab, uh, might agree, but I would first speak with the Amasua first. I remember having such a hard time, like, <laughs> like we actually had to like study how to pronounce those when we were starting to beat the game. It was crazy. Okay. Farewell. Now, thankfully, in more oblivion, you have quest markers, so we don't have to be like, oh crap, which camp is it, and like just go like from place to place, hoping that we found the right area. Which is really nice. Oh, it's right up here. Cool. We can just go to tell Voss. Cool. <laughs> How often do cats clean themselves? Pumpkin's been like cleaning himself for like the past like ten minutes. It's wild. I figured your tongue would just get tired after a while and you'd be like, Ugh, I don't want to do it anymore. But he's he's going ham. What is it? Oop, it's a next hound. So I don't think Nyx hounds have like a ton of magicka, so I probably just drained him of magicka completely right then. Oh my. 
That's probably all of the grass loading in. Yep, you can see the, the definitive line over there. Closer? It's not all wickweed. No, it's just a different kind of grass. They're like crazy fields of like ingredients you can find in Morrowind. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Well, it's good that he has good cleaning practices, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I found the camp. Why is the wind here? Oh, I always love the sound of the little wooden chimes. You have like a gigantic staff on your back. Alright then. I don't know uh, you, what do you want? She's like the biggest eyes ever. Um, let's uh... What is it, Outlander? Oh, oh we're okay. Let's bribe her, why not? Let's... Thank you. 69. The perfect disposition. She does spell making, interesting. Um, arrange a meeting. Uh... I will not meet with the Sargonian. I might send my apprentice, Minabi, uh, for it is this time she... Okay. She is in the Favel tomb. I remember this one. She has to, like, prove herself to, like, banish the spirits or something. Alright, let's go and do that. Um, for a Thief Assassin build in this game... Um, should you choose the Thief sign or the Atronach? Hmm. Well, Atronach is a... That's interesting, Sundu. Atronach is always an interesting choice. Um, it does give you incredible magic defense. Like that, that is certain. Uh, but if you plan on using Magicka a lot, it does really sort of hamper um, a lot of things. Like... My character right now is like what level like like you have to rely on potions. But um potions are a lot more frequent, like ma magicka potions at least are a lot more frequent in Oblivion, so you might be alright there. The thief sign what is the thief doesn't the thief sky sign give you like um what like agility, speed and something else? Like they're they're really good like attribute bonuses in the beginning of the game. Oh, well, the Sanctuary, that's that's Thief in, um, in Morrowind. Yeah, I think it's just attribute bonuses in Oblivion. But in Morrowind, you'd get Constant Effect Sanctuary, which is pretty interesting. Although, it's funny, a, a lot of people argue that Sanctuary is awful if you want to be good at using armor. Which is something to consider, right? Because in order to train your armor, you need to get hit. Yeah. And if you have the thief sign in Morrowind, then you actually lessen your chance to like get hit. It's an interesting sort of like thing to abuse if you want to um, get past the dice or like have the dice roll system in your um, um, in your favor. But it's interesting if you want to train armor. Oh, oh, in this game, do you mean more Oblivion? Oh. I'm not sure, then. I think, um, they have the same signs as they do in Oblivion, like they don't have the Atronach made for, um... Made for, um... Like, Morrowind's stuff, because it doesn't quite work out the same. It's getting dark. What is it? Oh, I see it. Is that a... it's a shawl. Oh! She hit me in the back again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you're using illusion magic, it's not too horrible. Now if you were... you meant vanilla oblivion. Okay, gotcha. Oh gosh. What is it? Oh gosh. 
Oh my gosh, it hurts so much, this thing. It's ridiculous. Got it. Jeez. The blighted Kugaudis are, like, insane. Like, they can really crush you. Oh, wow. I don't know who that was. I think she's one of those, you know, campers who actually hates me. Chitin Shield and Chitin War Axe. Hmm. Let me guess, it's this fire. You also don't appreciate my presence, do you? The whoa, whoa, guild. you just teleported in front of me. <laughs> Farewell. I never, never understood this. Where, like, there's just people around a campfire, and what, there's 25 gold? Yep. Just like in Morrowind. Crazy. Alright, so we're here at the Ancestral Tomb, which is nice. Now, hopefully we can find, like, a shrine or something. Actually, before we head in, let me just drink the rest of my magic of potions. Do I have an exclusive Storm Magica? Oh, that's nice. I'll use that too. Sweet. Travel Ancestral Tomb. <laughs> yeah, the, the native Dunmer who don't like anybody. Yep. Hello. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Manabi, um... How can I help you? <laughs> um, let's see. Arrange a meeting. Yes, uh, I will have to speak with Skink and Tree Shade, but you must help me also. Um, Cinnamon uh, sent me here as a punishment. Um, she asked me to calm an angry ancestor, but my charms will not calm him, and I am not strong enough to fight it. Okay, find the spear of Cantit Ashurunuemis and send it to its final rest. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, speed, agility, and luck by 10 is They're what well. the Thief Sign does in Oblivion. Gotcha. Chitin Greaves, don't need them, probably. Train my destruction a bit. Oh, hey! A truly skillful fighter to learn to block with a shield and weapon. Diligent practice has made you an apprentice to blocking. Blocking with your shield or weapon no longer drains fatigue. I didn't even notice it drained my fatigue. <laughs> oh, whoops. I don't think he has any more magic to give. Ooh, sweet, my intelligence advanced. Yeah, Atronach sounds better. Yeah, you're right. I mean, the skill increases, are, I guess, are all right. Blade increased. Um, but yeah, having that, that defensive, you know, bit is, is pretty awesome. That must be the ghost we're talking about. You shot me in the back again. Nuska is a horrible person. as many destruction spells as I can. Ha! Killed it. Excellent. Ha! Well, this is the ghost we're talking about. Excellent. Yeah, I do like the expansion packs. Um, do you have a soul gem? Excellent. Oh, we don't need all that bone. We should uh, restore some of our things, shouldn't we? I think Skullcrusher's probably getting a little low. 
I know, it stinks that, um... Oh, we also need to recharge that a bit more. We also need to, uh, let's do this right now, actually. Um, since we're here. Small chest. Oh my, I remember the five fingers of pain. That was pretty cool. Although, it only has four, but that's okay. <laughs> um, don't have any magic. Now I do. That does restore a ton of magic, though. Those exclusive magic or potions are crazy. Um, let me see. Okay, fingers of what I originally had. Good. Steel mace, bone mold boots. Not too exciting. Frost salts, drop wax. Bone mold helm, steel saber. Ghoul hearts. Green lichen. Grand soul gem with a greater soul. Mary. Oh wait, I should probably use magic, right? There we go! I've unlocked um, Arcane Secrets of Alteration, the Fabric of Reality. Now you can cast Journeyman level alteration spells. Sweet! That had nothing in it. I'm eligible for a promotion uh, of Magician in the Mages Guild. Probably... Does that work for... Yep, and House Tavani too, yeah. See, now that I'm raising my spells, I'm now eligible for better ranks in House Tavani and uh, Mages Guild. So yeah, I'm gonna have to use a lot more of those. Um, let's see, I think I have... Now let me quick save before we do this. Um, we have... Just on self. We do have a Summon Golden Saint scroll. Now the only question is, if I soul trap this, will it count as a grand soul just like it did in, uh, in Morrowind, or does it count as something else? We'll have to, um, we'll have to test this. Because I don't actually have soul trap as a spell, which is awful. Should probably get that. Should have Phil. Is it Phil Grease? Gen. Yeah, here we go. Gen feeder. Okay, I'm ready for this. Actually, let's heal up a bit. We do have to kill this thing soon, though. Oh, this thing might actually be difficult to kill. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Okay, so... Interesting. I'm not sure if we'll be able to kill that thing in time. We don't really have um, a good way to do that. Um, let me heal first. To be ready for this. I didn't expect that to be so beefy, but I guess... I guess uh, Golden Saints were the best summon to have in Morrowind, so it kind of makes sense. I don't remember them being that beefy from um, from Shiver Niles, but we'll have to see. Okay, so there's Summon Golden Saint, to say right now. And the Soul Gem, where is it? It's Filgree's something feeder. Oh, I have to go to this page. Gem feeder. Alright. This thing is tough. Nuska is not helping me with this battle. I'm on your side! Well then help me, Nuska. Help me if you're on my side. Because right now, I cannot tell. Okay. That didn't work. Um, let's do this then. Yeah, I like how they, they brought back the Golden Saint too in Oblivion. I thought that was cool. Um, let's do this then. I'll try to use like a crazy, crazy spell against it. And hopefully not have it reflected back at me and kill me. But uh, we'll have to just hook for that.
Okay, so let's see. I have a few crazy scrolls that I can use. This will hurt Nuska a lot. Um, but it might be good to use. I could summon a Daedroth to help us out. Um, that's insane. I oh, you know what I could do? I always forget I have this. Let's, um... I forgot I have that crazy amulet that paralyzes people. Oh. What? There's no soul large... Er, er, what? I have a grand soul gem. What are you talking about? That one. There... Oh well. <laughs> Maybe for some reason their souls are... How does that even make sense? I don't even know. Oh well. Um, <laughs> guess we'll never fill a grand soul gem? I, I don't know. How, um, how, many, how many charges do I have left on Skull Crusher? 29. Yeah, we'll worry about it later. I do have a ton of soul gems, actually, in my, um, in my crazy Midas chest. So we can do that. Hi. Good to see you, friend. How are things with you? Arrange a meeting. The spirit of, uh, Kanit Arushuma is resting. Uh, I have duties here to prevent Kenneth's spirit from returning. Okay, cool. Uh, speak more, once more with the wise woman, uh, Sinemasu Mer Appel, and you shall be... Okay, at rest perhaps. Yep. I wish there was just a tiny bit more time to read the wall of text um, <laughs> that Morrowind gives you from time to time. Especially when they give you incredibly difficult names that are really hard to pronounce. Head back. Oh, pumpkins asleep. All right, we go back to the wise woman's yurt, which I think is what here. And here we are. All right. Do you have questions for me? Arrange a meeting. Um, I know that the spirit of Can yet yeah, is uh, as at rest. Before I send my apprentice uh, to the skink, I will ask you a question. Uh, did you pacify the spirit, or did Minabi pacify the spirit? I'm gonna say Minabi did, because if I did it, I'm not sure if that's gonna be an okay thing. Oh, okay, Sundu, let's see. Um, Alchemy, Blade, Illusion, Light Armor, Marksman, and Sneak. That's a cool, like, spell blade right there. Um... What else should you use as a major skill? Um, if you plan to do a lot of blocking, maybe shield. Um, I say maybe. Um, armor is nice to have, just because it's a quick way to level up um, if you have a lot of broken equipment. Um, plus, getting to level 50 is nice, especially, or like, even quicker, um, just because repairing enchanted equipment has that 50 cap or something. But yeah, so maybe like armor or blocking or something like that. But yeah, that's 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 a pretty cool build. I'll say um, Nobby did. Uh, so be it. I will send my apprentice to talk with the skink. Um, but I do uh, so for the honor of Amusta. Uh, she will soon uh, see the error of the foreign ways and return to us. Uh, she will make a fine wise woman when she when my duties are done. Okay, cool. Farewell. Sweet. There's a man sleeping in your house. Alright. So that's that quest done. Oh, and I should be able to advance, which is nice. So we're really going to have to work on um, increasing my magic skills um, faster. Which is How goes a slight issue, because I really just have a tough time with magic. I feel like at some point I should just make a constant restore magicka item. I don't know if I can though. I think I, I, I think the thing that's keeping me from doing it is because I don't have a grand soul gem. 
So actually, something we might want to do this episode is actually uh, get Azora's star. That might be a good thing to get. All right. Don't stand about. Get Let's moving. Speak to Skink. That's not Skink. That's Skink. No, I'm not talking to. Um, actually, let's check enchanting. Borrow that cape from my other character. Yeah, really. Um, actually, you know what I could do is I could do something like. Um, I just want to test this out to see if this is a thing. Can I, with a grand soul, like with a greater soul, like not with a grand soul, make a constant effect item? Oh, I can. Oh, that's okay. Cool. Um, so that's definitely not as effective as, as if I had um, a grand soul gem, because I would have restore magicka 10 points on self. But that is doable. Um, actually, why don't we make this item? I mean, it's 6,000 gold. It's pretty nice. Um, we'll call these Enderil Battle Mage Gauntlets. We'll just call it War Mage Gauntlets. There we go. Oh, hey, Maroni. <laughs> Happy New Year to you, too. All right. Family. So, yeah, that should actually help our uh, magic issue. That's pretty sweet. Indrill War Mage Gauntlets some passive very slow restore magica um were you able to arrange a meeting uh yes arrange a meeting ah thank you manabi uh has already answered many of my questions excellent advancement congratulations you are promoted strive ever forward Cool. Promotion accepted. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see if there's any more duties. Um, when any mage turns to necromancy, it casts a pale shadow on the whole guild. Let's see. Necromancy. Oh, I'm doing good, Moroni. I'm doing good, yeah. Necromancer is uh, Talora Ulver, a former mage's guild member. Um, she can be found in Shawl. I remember trying to find Shawl. It was very difficult. I think this is one of the ones where we just have to be kill a necromancer. You. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm doing good. We, um, oh. I've attained the rank of Magician from the Mages Guild. Sweet. Actually, since yes. we're here, we might as well get the promotion from the, uh, Telvani, um, guild as well. Oh, you know what? Join the fighters game! We've been in a few battles. Let me try to repair Nuska's armor if I can. 77. There we go. Take that extra gold. We're gonna be naked for two seconds. Oh, oh, Moroni, this is the uh, more Oblivion character that I'm playing. Um, basically, it's um, it's more Oblivion's Morrowind, or yeah, Morrowind recreated in the Oblivion engine. So this is just another like series that I have basically. Join the fighters get Sure. Give her items back. More arrows. Art wall. Mask clap file. And that's it. Good. Yeah, but we're uh, we're playing a war mage this time, which is Oh, here, I'll show you the stats, actually. It's armor, blunt weapon, heavy armor. Um, alchemy, because I'm born under the Atronach, so it's kind of difficult for me to use magic. Um, just like my other characters. Um, and then I did alteration, destruction, restoration. Yeah, so you'll actually notice, yeah, I, I have Skull Crusher for Morrowind. This is the uh, Daedric Mask of Terror. Um, that's an Indril shield. That's the old-style Dwemer boots. But yeah. I've been having a lot of fun with this. And honestly, it, it's pretty smooth. I've only noticed like two two weird things that have happened, you know, with this mod. And one of them was that there was a quest where you had to find like a scroll and a dead body, and the dead body was missing. And the other one was that um there's a mud crab merchant 
in this game. Um, and it has 10,000 barring gold, which in Morrowind is like the most you can have. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sundu, that's amazing. That's, that's hilarious. Pretending to be a 24 year old girl in someone else's stream as a troll for New Year's. That's too funny. Alright, so let's just get an advancement and then we'll see. Oh, hey, crazy guy! See if we can get a promotion, and then we'll head to that necromancer's lair. Of course, it's night time, and nobody's here. Let's just try and change that if we can. Nine a.m. is a fine time, to do or not. I think we just have to talk to anybody in this building, which is nice. What's going on? It's weird, they all seem to get stuck in like in these like bottom levels, which is crazy. Just because they're just talking to everybody. Are you someone I have to talk to? No. Take care. I hate the things. Be seeing you. Are you someone I have to talk to? No. I need advancement as an option. You're spoiling my day. Um Oh yeah, I've been doing Mage's Guild quests for a while, so I've probably, like, lowered the disposition of everybody here. I know, I love the, the old... I, I just, I just love Morrowind. Morrowind's a fantastic game. I, and the adaptation's pretty nice, I have to say. Well, Matt, hello there. It's our natural I think I can talk to you. Advancement. I cannot advance you to the next rank. You must speak to your patron. Ma oh, I have to go to Master Aaron. Gotcha. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Oh, good to know. <laughs> That's funny, Sundu. Awesome. So you sent them the actual picture and like spoiled it for everybody. That's really awesome. I would have like. I would have gone one step further and like pasted my face like on a cam girl or something like that and then send it in. <laughs> That'd be really great. Or like do like a bearded woman thing and like paste a beard on a lady. That'd be good. Alright, so we have to kill a necromancer. <laughs> um, wait, where did that take us? Oh, I see. Wow, that's in a really weird location. I remember this quest. I think. And I think this is the place. <laughs> this is the place where I think uh, I had like a terror. I wish I had highlighted this, but I didn't. The, the video had expired by the time I, I did this. But when I was playing Morrowind. It was like the first time I fought a Greater Bonewalker, and they have a Destroy Magicka. Um, not Destroy Magicka, rather. They have a um, Damage... What is it? Damage Strength. And, and you go in, and like, I went in, and I got attacked by this thing, I couldn't move, because he destroyed my strength, and, and I couldn't recover from it, so I'm like, okay, I'll sleep. And I was after that, I was attacked by like, two Dark Brotherhood Assassins. Like, just one thing after another, it was insane. <laughs> Dwarf females. Yes, women with beards. Oh my. That grass waving. At some point we'll have to go to Master Aaron's. Alright, so we have to go to Shaw. Did I never discover... Huh. I thought I... Oh, I guess I didn't. How weird. Um, we did the... Uh, oh, hey, actually. Derp. Um... <laughs> That's pretty cool. 
So we do have, um, what is it, the, uh, do I have them with me? Let me try to open my, oops, that's the wrong button. I forget what that's called. I think, I, I think that is a thing Maroni, but it, it's not that, it, it's, that's not what it's called, though. There's the Boots of Blinding Speed. See, we got these Boots of Blinding Speed, but I never actually went to, um, Gnarmok over here for some reason. Put those boots on. Get there faster. Oh, never mind. I'm in a battle. <laughs> oh, we have to uh, train our magic, of course. That was easy. Yeah, they're working on Skywind now. But I think there is a, a like an Oblivion remake for Skyrim. I can't remember what it's called, though. Where? You should probably find this city anyway, Orlando. Ha! Ow, that hurt me. Oh, I'm good. Never mind. Let's uh, put those boots on. I can go a little bit faster. Woo! Gotta like Boots of Blinding Speed. Yeah, I forget what it's called, though. It's, it's Sky... Maybe it's Sky Oblivion? I think that might be what it's called. I can't forget that. Wow, that was a nice one-shot for that mud crab. Is this a bandit? Head on. No, he's not. Occasionally they're just bandits on the road. <laughs> Boots of blinding speed are ridiculous. Okay, found shawl. Got it. Sweet. I also remember before I even came into this this cave, there was a there was like a Dramora Lord or something that like followed me in or something or like it followed me right to the door and I had to use the door to escape it. Are you fighting something? Oh yes, yes. Am you I are. supposed to be impressed? That was the wrong spell. I accidentally used my boots. Now I'm like levitating. Woo! It's good levitating. Oh gosh, I'm sort of flying a little bit. Um, what is it now? Oh, it's a rat. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Okay, so they. Oh, they have been working on Sky Blavin? Gotcha. Supposed to be impressed. Use some of my magic skills. Maybe I should make a. I should um, make a spell that um, that does on touch because on target stuff is a, is a little bit um, costly sometimes. She got him. Nice. Silver claymore isn't nice. My monk skills with levitate. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is. Oh, those, those are one of those arrows, probably. Frost damage effect resisted. Oh gosh, the cat in the hat movie. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, yeah, dude, Alma Lexi will be really cool too. Alma Lexi is... She's the Nerevar's wife. Or... Do I need to recharge my hammer at any point? 65 uses? We're doing okay. Whoa. 
This hammer does so much damage. Oh, don't summon a zombie. You evil woman. Well, she is a necromancer, actually. Got her. I call him Raincoat. <laughs> Oh, oh, you mean the next part of Tamriel Rebuilt? Yes, I do agree with that. Definitely. Alright. I remember this being a nice place, actually. I'll take them because they're worth a lot. Ooh, those are nice. Song of the Alchemists. I'll take that. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, crazy guy. No, no, this is, um, <laughs> that might be confusing for you. This is a, um, if you haven't been here yet, um, for this series, you might have. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But, uh, this is my, where is it? He's a Breton Atronach. This is just the Daedric Mask of Terror. They do, they t dumber, dumber ladies will sometimes call you stupid before they die. It is weird. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. I need a lock spell. Oh, I do have a Sunni's open door. That's nice. Bunch of alchemy ingredients. Take some more. Why not? At some point I should probably do alchemy. I've collected ingredients forever but never used the skill once. The only like three or four skill ups that I have are from books. <laughs> and like maybe eating something at one point. At some point I want to but oh, it takes a lot of time. Merchant of the Mage's Guild, Fortify Health Potion. Cure common disease. I'll take that actually. I'll just cast the upper level spell. Oh my. Um. I think I'm alright. It's a nice little place here. Uh, let me rest to restore all my stuff. For like an hour. There we go. I was a slight bit worried that we might get attacked during the night, but we seem to be okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I've really enjoyed more Oblivion. Like it, it does, it does look great. You're absolutely right. All right. Ooh, I, I can almost level up. Um, Continue that. That was pretty good. Alright, so let's head back to the Mage's Guild. I know you can fast travel! I know, right? You fast travel and you have quest markers. In Morwind. What? I know, it just blows my mind every time. Like you, you, like, you actually feel spoiled. You, you actually do. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't know, Jadis, what happens. Yeah, I haven't been attacked by the Dark Brotherhood at all. Not that I've actually slept that often, but... Well, but yeah, I, I haven't been talked by the Dark Brotherhood at all. He threw a curse on me, I... I hear you. Okay. Put a stop to, um... To lure Ulver's necromancy? Yes, I have. Necromancy. Um, while killing is never pleasant, it is sometimes necessary. Tova Ulur is dead, and you have proven yourself to the guild. Hooray! More quests? I do not have any duties for you. Speak with me again when you have become the rank of wizard. This is what I Good was day. worried about. Take care. <laughs> 
but it might be okay. We've, we've come to a, a weird point. Um, oops, that was the wrong button. Uh, guys, in my face. Um, we've come to like a weird point where like... Um, let me just put a couple things away. We're like... I don't know how to explain this. Like, we can do more quests. But for some reason, like, we haven't ranked up enough to actually do those quests, so we're kind of, like, barred from it. So, it kind of forces you to kind of adventure beyond the actual guild. So, yeah, super meditation this turn. <laughs> That's what happens when you talk to a person on a bunk bed. They just hover over the bunk bed while you talk to them. It's, it's kind of, you know, it, it, it's impressive. It really is. Just checking what anything else we have. That grain soul gem I can't seem to do anything with. Hang on. Uh yes, Raincoat. I could actually go to Cyrodiil. Actually, the only reason I have the Midas magic thing is because I went over to Cyrodiil. So there are a couple things I had to get in Cyrodiil, like absorb magic doesn't exist in Morrowind, uh, unless it's a scroll. Or like I don't even think there's a ring. There's like very few... You don't actually get it as a spell, basically. So I had to go over to Cyrodiil to get like a couple things. But yeah, you can travel back and forth, which is pretty cool. It costs like a thousand gold each. Uh, no, it's not the same character used for modded more Oblivion. Um, but similar in ways. This is a Breton um, Atronach, and it's a war mage. So... He does armor, blunt weapon, heavy armor, and then I included alchemy, alteration, destruction, restoration for the magic. Just like a slightly customized um, uh, battle mage, basically. Sort of based off of the character I used in um, in my original Morwin series. So let's see what we have for quests. Obtain the rank of magician. We could check out what Master Aaron has to do. So, yes, technically you are a time-traveling adventure if you do go between the two worlds, right? It's only by six years, so it's not like you're going from, like, Oblivion to Skyrim or Morrowind to Skyrim, but... You know. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is why we have our Dagger of Shenanigans. Um, it's funny. I may have gotten rid of a few other items that did constant effect stuff, but this is pretty cool. It basically gives me levitation. Woo! And Nuska's probably gonna die? Yeah, she she died. <laughs> or at least fell unconscious. There we go. Um, you know what, Calm Rainco? I'm not sure. Um It would kind of make sense that you shouldn't be able to do the Oblivion Crisis if you're six years before the Oblivion Crisis and you travel over, right? Um, I, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I mean, I, we could try, but it would just take, um, Monk is real. <laughs> I'm not sure, though. What we could do for your Outlander advancement? Uh, yes, you've met all the requirements. Uh, you are now promoted within the House Talvani. Sweet! You have, like, duties? Chores, they're called. Um, there is another Talvani in trouble. Uh, I do not, uh, normally interfere with these matters, but I've taken some interest in this one. I need someone to stop the Redoran attack on Favis Andis in Shishi. Okay. Do I have to ask about Shishi? Shishi. Uh, several Redoran have infiltrated Shishi and House Telvani uh, Favis Andis has gone into hiding. <laughs> Shishi uh, is a Velothi tower in the middle of the Foyada Bani Dad northwest of Margon. Uh, leave Margon and go east uh, past the Silt Strider, uh, then you'll follow the Foyada northwest. <laughs> the Tardis. Alright, if you cannot find him, uh, look for a skull in the desk which opens a secret door. Ooh, cool! We are blessed. Truly blessed. This is an... Oh, I ranked up. Sweet. Good evening. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, it's not a TARDIS. It's, a, it's the magical boat outside of Sadenine. <laughs> but I guess that works, too. Ah, she she. Um, yeah, I think it'd be faster to travel from Margon. Oh, gosh. Knowing the Dwemer, there probably is a time machine. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's freaking dark. I'm gonna try to wait till like it's actually bright out. Oh, hey, Maroni. Oh, yeah, I understand what you mean. There we go, that's better. Or a spell, yeah, no. For time travel. <laughs> That's an unfortunate coupling of words, crazy guy. I'm pretty sure the ship Tardist would not be called the Shardist. <laughs> I know, right? You're so right, Javis. Where's where's my hover blade that we should have had ten years ago? Did I just say hover blade or hoverboard? I have a hover blade, <laughs> interestingly enough, but I need a hoverboard now. I love using my hover blade. Okay, Maroni. Hopefully there's a better ca connection tomorrow. That didn't kill you, did it? It, like, knocked him down the mountain. That was pretty wild. Alright, Maroni. I'll see you later. Hopefully you have better luck with your internet tomorrow. Having that passive regenerate magica is just so, so essential. That's true, yeah, the TARDIS can change form, so you're right. It could change into like... It's the equivalent of a call box in the world. I don't even know. Seriously though, if you are playing the Atronach, they did it best in Skyrim, where they basically took off, what is it, in Skyrim when you are when you choose the Atronox stone. Oh, it's good? Okay, never mind. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Welcome back, Ron. Uh, but yeah, they did it best in Skyrim, where as opposed to just having no Magicka regeneration whatsoever, they decreased your Magicka regeneration by 75. Um, which is still better than just not regenerating Magicka at all. So, if you are playing a character born under the Atronox, I do highly suggest that you, um, what spell am I using? I, it's On Oblivion Enchantment, which gives you uh, a whole bunch of low-level spells uh, that you would normally not be able to cast. Like, I have a Paralyze for one second spell called Trip that you would normally not be able to make, but I can use it, which is pretty cool. It's just a, 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 it's a mod basically made so that you can make those cool enchantments even if you're not experienced in those schools of magic. Oh, everybody looks like they're dead. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Silver Flame Axe. It's okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's true, Rainco. That's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I usually play a battle mage all the time as well. I just I just really like using like lightning magic and going up with a warhammer. Huh? Granted, I actually do prefer having 
a two-handed Warhammer. But heck, if I'm given a blunt weapon that's one-handed and it's better than a two-handed blunt weapon, I, I'll use it. I'm not against it. Shadows. Jumping. Stop closing. We should not piss off Nasca. She has Crescent. <laughs> That's true, Jadis. Yeah. This is a this is a good player home. There's a couple good places that make play good player homes in Morrowind. If you don't mind the dead mages everywhere, I like that. Uh oh. Let's get this over with. Whoa! Door of a magic gun. That is why I have this hammer. Let's get this over. Oh, Nasco. <laughs> Just run into my spells, why don't you? I know close range archery. I don't I don't know why. Uh, that shouldn't be a thing really. Silver flame sword. I'll take it. Amulet of Mighty Blows. It's a good one. There's a report. It's always good to have. What do we have here? Steel Spark Sight. I'll take that. Let me heal up a bit. Restoration skill increased. Now, what was the thing that I could talk to the guy if I moved, like, a skull on his desk or something? Zyrodelic Brandy. Let me just see if any of these raise my skills. Point blank shot feet. Yeah, really. I mean, she has Kresimir, which is like a crazy, crazy two handed blade. A Breton skull. This is Formery. Fletching Cult Worship. Tawani Bug Musk. Yeah, not so good at fire. She, yeah, she will actually just hit me in the back a lot, unfortunately. There we go. Anything cool in these barrels? Crates. Occasionally there is. Pumpkin's awake again. Crate. <laughs> All right, Moroni. Good night. All right, sweet. Did that open something. I heard something open. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. There's the guy, Thavasandus. <laughs> All right, Moroni. Um, Glad to finally see a friendly face. I'm the Redder, uh, the Redren overwhelmed us. Uh, have you, uh, killed Brenham Salas? Excellent. Uh, I can, uh, handle other Redrens on my own. I will tell Master Aaron that you assisted me. Uh, you might find these books of interest, Outlander. I've already studied them. Alright, cool. Let's see what books we got. Goodbye. Check in the crates. Let's check out these books. What do we have? Ooh, sweet! Fire, frost, and lightning have flowed through your fingertips. You are now a journeyman in destruction magic. You can cast journeyman level destruction spells. Awesome. I should probably make some of those journeyman level destruction spells. They'd be very useful. Um, I think I've read some of the alchemists. Yeah, I have. Yorkin. Excellent. I think I've read... Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. What are our stats look like now? 
pretty good. I mean, I have to raise both of these like up to 70, which sounds like a task and a half, but that's okay. <laughs> Die, Outland. <laughs> <laughs> Why it's so <laughs> good? Chinese food isn't that bad. <laughs> Those memories. <laughs> I know, right? Some of the things that they say is great. Um, let's go back to Master Aaron then. We actually have a levitation spell since. I want to train my alteration, I should probably just use it. Even though I have these good items. Actually, we can probably put away the Heaven's Blade and stuff like that, because I have spells and I can regenerate magicka now, which is nice. So we have Le Levitate for 20 seconds. Whee! Wow, Nuska didn't out oh, nope, she's unconscious. Whoa! Hello there. Well, hello there. <laughs> I'll have to find a place to do spell making. Chicken lo mein is life. <laughs> Mr. Aaron, uh, have you won the fight with House Tovani in Shinny? Yes, in Shishi. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. Favis Andes is safe. Perhaps um, this will keep House Redoran from making any other unwise decisions. Uh, Vardenfell is plenty of land uh, for all three great houses. I've prepared uh, for you a silver staff of war. Another trademark gift from House of Telvani. Cool. Any more chores? Uh, if you wish to become um, a wizard in House Telvani, you must uh, have someone to uh, represent you in House Telvani Council Hall. Oh. Uh, find a promising Telvani to be your mouth. What does that mean? May you find all that you seek, traveler. <laughs> A big sloppy slice of pepperoni pizza. I, I know, it, it's weird. Like, pepperoni pizza is just good. There's just nothing better. Oh gosh, about it. Like, you could literally, like, make the worst pepperoni pizza and it would actually still be okay. Which is the weirdest thing. Let's put some of these things away. I'll keep this just in case I'm overwhelmed, I guess. It only weighs two pounds. We we'll need the watcher's belt. Put away some of these ingredients. There we go. Yes, <laughs> how's good? They do tend to dislike each other. Very, very true. Let me put away this grand soul gem just in case I do something stupid and like trap like a mud crab soul or something. So I think we're actually at the the you know the other point in the other guild where we basically can't do anything. Um, yep. Yep. We can't do anything until I reach level seventy in one of my magic skills. Good tidings, citizen. All right. Let's see. What could we do? We could put away a staff of Magnus too. That's actually weighing us down. We seem to be okay now. Yeah. Sometimes you can make the pizzas too salty. That's true. Nah, uh, soul time's a bit too difficult at this point. Um, although I do have the marker there, so I can fast travel, which is nice. Um, let's go get Azura's Star. Let's do that. Because that'd be good. Ah, <laughs> uh, sausage pizza's good too, you're right. Oh, jeez. Yeah, just, just run away from them, why don't you? <laughs> Alright, so it's right over here. I'm glad that like the like map actually shows you where it is. It's pretty great. 
It even shows you like sunken ships, which is pretty cool. Kagaudi. Normal Kagaudi. I can tell because it's definitely not as powerful as the other ones. Got it. Yeah, actually, when it comes to pizza, I'm definitely into the, um, like, the smaller local pizza places. Like, they go all out. They usually have, like, the brick ovens and stuff. Like, they, you know, real ingredients, all that good stuff. I usually prefer that. Playing for your outside. He dodged my spell. What's the matter? Getting it's a shame, I don't know why, but clan fears seem to not be able to attack or move a lot. <laughs> whatever. You just shot me with an arrow. Ha! Don't ever take me down. Ha! All right, Sundu. I'll see you later. Increased, excellent. I found the Shrine of Azora. I'm on top of it, aren't I? Yep. Oh! Whoops. Let me heal up a bit. <laughs> hey, Noodle. Happy New Year's. All right. I don't think there's any enemies in here, actually. I think we just go in. As long as it's what? Does it have to be between hours, or can I just talk to Zora? You come here for a reason, though you may not know what it is. Shayagara and I are the major He contends that solitude causes madness, while I maintain it allows for solace and meditation. To test this, I sent one of my priestesses to live alone on an island north of Tavernfell. If she can live there for a hundred years, continuing her life of prayer, my theory will be proven. If not, Shea Goroth wins our wager. The time has almost passed, and she remains steadfast. If Shea Goroth has tried to sway the decision in his favor, Travel there, rid the island of his minions, and bring back proof of his meddling. Okay, cool. Do not disturb the wise woman, though, as that would void our wager. Serve me, and I will reward you well. Cool. Sweet, let's do it. It's nice that it actually shows you where you're supposed to go, that's pretty nice. Oh no, yeah, Jettis, I, I totally agree. No, I, I agree with Shea Gorath. Um, yeah, I, I would say that solitude would cause madness. Yeah. At least for, you know, a hundred years. Yeah, Shea Gorath is too awesome. I know, if you're alone for that long, like, you start doing stuff like, you know, Castaway is a great, you know, is a great way to look at it. I mean, Wilson, right? <laughs> you start naming objects and giving them personalities of yourselves and stuff like that. Um, I, Shogoroth is love. Shogoroth is life. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's the same voice actor in Oblivion and in, um, in Skyrim. Uh, but he was a different voice actor in, um, in Morrowind, and they probably used the Morrowind voice acting 
for Sheo Gorath. We haven't actually done any of those quests yet, so we'll have to see. Um, let's go to Dagenfell. You are Sheo Gorath, Kaplan. What's funny, crazy guys, in saying that, you might actually be Sheo Gorath. Just because of the way he works. That you saying that you are Sheogorath actually makes it more likely that you're Sheogorath. Think about it. <laughs> it's weird, but think about it. And yes, of course, cheese. Cheese for everybody. What would be the best... I mean, I could just follow the quest marker, right? That'd be probably the easiest thing to do. Whoa! Clan fear out of nowhere! Although it's a derpy clan fear that can't really get me for some reason. I do like the model of this clan fear. <laughs> Greg can be a teapot. Greg could be a teapot. Techni yeah, technically the hero of Kvach is Sheogorath. And I like cheese, yeah. I know, I like cheese too. Yeah, yeah, because of the Shivering Isles DLC. Yeah, I know what you mean. Alright, heading over the mountains. Couple of Nick's hounds hanging out? They are. My spell does a ton of damage, I have to say. Even as low level as it is. Oh, I think uh, Nuska got that one. <laughs> yeah, summoning Haskell is probably one of the best spells in the game. I know, I'm, I'm looking forward to Shivering Isles too. I mean, in my other series, we're actually very close to, um, to finishing uh, the main quest. Um, and I'll, I'll just storm through um, um, what, Knights of the Nine, and then we'll just spend like just a ton of time in Shivering Isles, because I love Shivering Isles. It was like my favorite expansion. Getting closer. The land is loading before me. Am I getting like the glow for my hammer? Huh, weird. It is nice and blue. What's cool is I can disenchant it at any time and just put any enchantment I want on it, which is pretty awesome. For now I have Absorb Magica, but this, which is pretty nice actually. Alright, so that is a Golden Saint. That is also a Golden Saint. I'm gonna back up for a second. <laughs> Paradise. I know, of, of all places in Cyrodiil, I mean, all places in Nern, I guess, I would definitely choose, um, oh gosh, what's happening? Um, I would definitely choose to live in, uh, I would definitely choose Shivering Isle of all places. I think this hunger is a bit more difficult. Being attacked by a few hunters at the same time. I've killed the Golden Saint, most powerful Deja. I didn't realize I killed the Golden Saint. What? When did that happen? Oh, he resists all magic and doesn't. Hurt. 
these hungers are crazy. I'm on your oh, side. Sorry. When did I? I don't understand. I think maybe when we saw all those danger together, like maybe like they fought each other. Oh gosh! I've ascended to level sixteen. Excellent. I should go to that lady and uh, train my mysticism. Oh, in the ancient towers? Yeah, that mod is great, I have to say. That, I, I'd agree with you on that one. Uh, before I go into combat, though, I'm going to... Um, ooh, alteration skill increased. I'm going to grab the Grand Soul Gem I have. Where is it? Grand Soul Gem. And maybe capture one of the souls of these Grand Soul... Um, or, not Grand Soul Gem. Um... Gosh. Of these, um... Gosh. Of the, uh, Golden Saints. I think the other Daedra killed the Golden Saints. I'm not sure why, but I think they did. Got her. Jeez. Um, what, technically, what, sh I, for, I think it's that Shergorth has, yeah, look, they all killed the, the, the Golden Saints. That's silly. Oh, you know why? It's because this is an Oblivion Daedra. It's pretty wild. But I, I think, um, oh! I think originally hungers are actually Boethia's um, Boethia's Daedra, but then Shogoroth sort of like borrowed them or took them. I'm not sure which. I'm just gonna heal up a bit. So I'm not sure what exit actually happened here, but here are the Golden Saints that we were supposed to kill. Daedric Dagger, excellent. Daedra Heart. We were supposed to capture their souls, but that didn't happen. There's Shogroth's Signet Ring. Ooh, Vardenfell Ebony Tower Shield. New shield, guys. Indurel Shield is 11. Oh, they're both 11. I might not be... No, oh, that's weird. Maybe I'm not good enough in heavy armor to like know that one's better than the other. Mm. I think there's one way I can actually tell this. If I give both of my shields to Nuska, I think the one that she'll wear Join will the actually fighters. be the one that's better. So let me share. Okay, so yeah, they were originally uh, both these. Oh wow, her armor is pretty much destroyed. Now we were fighting um yeah, we were fighting those those crazy things. So I'm gonna give her the Indurel shield and the Fortenfell Ebony Shield. Oh, she probably needs a weapon, right? Um <laughs> let's repair our stuff. Armor skill increased, excellent. Yeah, it's true, crazy guy. Um, yeah, yeah. If you if you actually beat um, if you actually do the Shea Goroth quest, join um, the fighter. You, uh, after you've beaten Shivering Isles, uh, you actually get Haskell, which is kind of crazy because you're kind of asking to talk to yourself, but instead you get Haskell, which is interesting. But yeah, you're right about that. Well, oh, uh, did you accidentally press enter? I've seen that happen before. Uh, let's see. Press in here. Go with disbelief. Get some more arrows. 
Oh, wait, you need a one-handed weapon, don't you? Join um, the fighters. Let me give her a Daedric jo dagger. Join the fighters. Share. Mm, take Kressamir. Longsword is oh, okay. I'll give you that. And of course, I have to take her bow as well. Join the fighters. But hopefully, through doing this, she'll actually like let me know which one's better. Uh, which is a bit strange, but that's kind of how this works. Okay, so it is the Vardenfell Ebony Shield. That's better. Join the fighters. I would have assumed as much as well, but I couldn't tell. Well, you get Wabajack from basically Haskell. Or at least, th this is basically the way I understand it, is that technically you're not Sheogoroth, you're just a placeholder. Um, so you're not actually Sheogoroth. But, for all intents and purposes, like, you're, like, his, like, standing in, like, person, basically. Alright, so let's use a modern fell. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. Gotta like that. Vardenfell Ebony Tower Shield. Sweet. Join the fighters! Gah! Yeah, she's part of the Fighters Guild, so she'll annoy me like every few seconds about joining the Fighters Guild. She was in, what, Chaden Hall's Fighters Guild? It was when I was in Cyrodiil and I wanted to like grab like a few spells and like a follower. Nuska's alright, I guess. I was looking for an archer, and that's what I found. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to Azora. Oh, you know what? Until he respawns back in the world, yeah. You know what I realized? Um, when we tried to capture a Golden Saint soul earlier, that was uh, Shivering Isle's Golden Saint, which means that you would probably need a Black Soul Gem to catch them as opposed to, like, the creature Golden Saints in Morrowind. That's probably why that happened. Well done, mortal. You have preserved the integrity of my wager with Sheogoth. Now it will end as fated, and not due to the meddling of the Daedra Prince. Take this, and use it wisely. Cool, we got a Zora Star. I returned to Shrine Azora um, to let it be known that I have cleared the island of Daedra that they, um, and returned the proof that Sheogorath was behind the problems. Azora was grateful and rewarded me with her star, a magical soul gem of immense power. Is this like the exact same one as like Oblivion's one? It kind of looks like the one in Oblivion. Interesting. But well, we have Azora's star now, so we could just feed anything we want with souls, which is pretty cool. Um, whoops, that was the wrong thing again. I should probably just take that off my hotbar and, like, save it for, like, certain situations. Um, let's see, I could put away my Indural Shield, Shirograth Signet Ring. I don't even think we need this helmet, I just put it away. Oh, is it? I don't have to, we'll have to pay attention to. What we'll try to do is we'll try to do an active, like, character study of Sheogorath when we're in the Shivering Isles and try to, um, you know, find the, the, the madness in his method. Or maybe the other way around. Whatever comes first, I guess. <laughs> Let's see, uh, what else could we do? So I have a Grand Soul Gem, so if we ever find like um, like an Ascended Sleeper or something else like that, we can capture its soul. Um, should we just go like Daedric Shrine Hunting and see like how, how far we can like get? We could do that. Um, what's cool is I can just look at the map, like there's one right here, so why don't we do that? Method to his madness. 
yeah, we'll, we'll try to do that. I don't know if it says much about my character, but I don't actually find Sheogoroth that hard to understand. Because really, it's just symbolism. <laughs> Sheogoroth theory with Vingroth and friends. I find that, that he talks in symbolism most of the time. Wait, that didn't actually... That was weird. He got knocked over by that spell. Is that spell that powerful? It is not. What? What is it even? I forget. It's Elemental Shards. What, it does... 10 damage for... Oh, it does 30 damage. It's, it's nice, I guess. Oh, the Cliff Racer's attacking. I was wondering what was going on. There we go. Alright, let's clear out this Daedric Temple and see what's going on here. There's a lit. Oh yeah, I've got to get some better destruction spells. I keep forgetting about that. Lit. Get back some of those quick silver arrows for Nuska. Oh. Another lit. What's cool is the, the enchantment on her bow actually does weakness to Magicka. Oh gosh, I think it fell through the floor. <laughs> yeah, Robotron, you're right. Shorgoroth does actually have a lot of knowledge, you just have to sort of discern what it is. Granted, discerning what it means actually does mean to succumb to madness, but, you know, you do what you can, basically. <laughs> um... Oh, I keep missing this guy. There we go. Dramore Lord. Ooh. Quick save. I want to see if Dramore Lords have good souls to get. Um, they might not. Is it Filgris? Yeah, Filgris Gem Feeder. Whoa! Oh, I thought he was getting it close enough. Oh, no soul gem large enough. Wait, to capture it? Really? I have Azor's effing star. <laughs> he must also count as a person for some reason. Fabulous pose, though. Let me just check if I have angered someone. Nope, I have no bounty. I have some infamy though. It doesn't surprise me really. You were trying to make his character to be his descendant. That'd be pretty cool. What's cool is that Nuska's arrows actually have like 15% weakness to Magicka. So those that red effect that you see on his skin like, makes my spells that much more powerful. Ha! Ha! Got it. Get own Shrek. Well, <laughs> also keep this in mind. Between Oblivion, between 200 years, Boethia decided to change gender. Really, no physicality that humans consider important, Daedra do not consider important. <laughs> also, Skyrim had, like, the most fantastic beards in the world. As opposed to Oblivion, 